Hi, Steve here again. Um, I've added this spa to my deck here, and uh, it's really nice. But in the process of adding it, I discovered that it quadrupled my electric bill, being uh, heated electrically. Um, I do have my solar and my uh, wind power here, uh, and I've added some to that, which I'll show a little bit later. But uh, anyway, uh, what I've done is I've hooked this this uh, hot tub up to my wood stove here, and uh, it's totally stopped using electricity as far as uh, heating the water. Okay, you can see where the connections for the coil come out of the back of the stove there. That plate was there to uh, allow that to be put in there. It was designed for the, for this to add this uh, hot water system. Uh, here I have a, a uh, safety valve and down pipe and uh, this is the uh, hot air tube going into the house. Here it goes right into the plenum of the uh, existing furnace. Anyway, I've got two three-quarter lines here that go into a three-inch um, tube. I've got that all insulated, and I've got a, uh, a heat tape running through there, too, in case I'm gone for a few days sometime and it uh, gets real cold. Anyway, this uh, the line runs right over to the spa here, and uh, connects in two places, of course. One is right here where I've just got a T in, into the uh, jet line, a T with a three-quarter uh, connector on it. And then uh, on the other side of it, it uh, I just put it into the drain, which is down in this corner like. So it circulates really nicely and uh, just does an excellent job. Right now it's uh, 103 there. And uh, just premium. Let's go down into the uh, powerhouse down here. Come on in. It might take a minute to adjust to the light here. Uh, anyway, I've done some uh, additions here to my power station from uh, from before. Um, I, I now run most of the. I've, I've got about a thousand uh, watts coming in up there off the solar. And another 500 coming out off the uh, off the turbine. But uh, I put all the uh, solars uh, basically into the grid right off. And I don't run them through the controller anymore. Um, just uh, the only thing I've got through this controller uh, is a 45 watt panel uh, right now. And the reason I do that is because I just don't use off the batteries that much. Um, everything's set up to go, um, but I, I don't have enough batteries to, for it yet. It's just going to take some time. I've got two. 3,000 watt in, um, inverters for for uh, power sources. It will it will and does run the stove and it will run the spa uh, as far as the the pump. It, it will not do the heater, but I don't have to use that heater anymore. And so hopefully you know, I'll get this built up to where I've got maybe uh, three kilowatts and it will handle uh, anything. But uh, uh, as far as it goes, is I sure feel a lot better about having that that stove heat that spa instead of uh, the power company. There are several uh, critical things that need that you need to keep in mind here. And one is the level of the tub versus the level of the stove. Um, it, if my setup here would have been one inch lower, it wouldn't have worked. Uh, not as well anyway. Not without a five hundred dollar pump anyway. But as it is. Um, you want that line on the back of the stove the, the same level as the top of your water or a little below so um, critical very critical uh, anyway kind of a snowy day here at least when I sit in the spa now I don't uh, see dollar signs <laughs>